Hey guys! Hey. Welcome to WNL Review. Today we are going to be reviewing a short and a movie. So the short is Us Again and the movie is Hocus Pocus. So let me explain the premise of Us Again. Basically we start off with this older couple and the woman wants to go out dancing on the town just like her and her husband used to do. However, he doesn't want to. He just wants to stay at home and watch TV. So she ends up going out on her own, sadly, and he starts to feel bad. Now, I want to say this is a silent kind of a film. It's just no, no speaking, but there's music in the background. So, you, he goes and looks out the window, out on the balcony, and he decides, he, it starts to rain, and all of a sudden, he's like, young again, and he is feeling up to going out and dancing, so he runs out, goes to his wife, and they start dancing all over the town, meanwhile, there's this, like, jazz music playing and all, and it's really cute. And as they're dancing all over, they enter a part of the town where it's not raining. And they're older again. And they're sad for a moment, but then they start dancing again. And the rain catches up with them, and they're back in the rain, and they're young, dancing again. And then at the end, it stops raining completely, and they're older again. But they kind of realize, we don't have to be young to still dance. So you see them hug and all, and in a puddle, there's a reflection of them. And even though they're actually old, the reflection shows them as being young. And that's the end of the short. I know I thought it was really cute and sent a good message, but I'll let my mom tell you what she thought about it. Us again, and it's a very short short. It's like only six minutes or so. Um, it's on Disney Plus, um, and I would definitely recommend it for anybody. If you have littles, if you are a young person at heart, or if you don't have children at all, um, it's it's good for everyone. It's an animation, and it doesn't have any dialogue, but it does have music, so there's that. Um, the um, the message in the story is, you know, basically you're never too old to enjoy enjoy things that you once did when you were younger. Um, and I really enjoyed the 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 um, the idea, the way they they played it in it, they portrayed it, and everything. It was really cute. Um, again, there's not a whole lot we can say without telling you every bit of the, the um, little short, being that it was only six minutes. It's not, there's not a lot of um, stuff that we can't, that, that we could say that we wouldn't give the whole, the whole thing away. Um, my daughter basically told you all of the, the premise. Um, it is a recommendation that I would recommend it for anybody, um, young, old, and all. Um, it has, like I said, no dialogue, so you don't need to worry about language or anything like that. Um, it has no sexual connotations or anything that you need to worry about anything like that, so there's nothing like that to worry about. Um, it is very family-friendly. And I really enjoyed it. Like I said, you have six minutes, pop it on, and I'm sure you would agree. Um, you may not, but I'm sure you might. Anyway, um, with that, we will go on to our next review, which is Hocus Pocus. And I'll let my daughter start off. Okay, so Hocus Pocus takes place in Salem, Massachusetts, uh, following our main characters of the Sanderson sisters, Mary, Winnie, and Sarah Sanderson, as well as Danny, Max, Elizabeth, 
and Thackeray Banks. So let me explain the premise. So it all starts off in about the 1800s um, in Massachusetts, I believe, maybe 1900s. Nevertheless, we see the Sanderson sisters coaxing a little girl to come to them so that they can suck the life out of her with their potion so that they can become young again. And meanwhile, Thackeray, the girl's older brother, sees her running off into the woods. So he tells his friends to summon the elders as he runs off after his little sister. He eventually catches up to them while they are in their cottage. However, um, he isn't able to stop them before the deed is done. And they end up turning him into a black cat that can live forever. That way he has to live with the fact that people that he loved are going to pass as well as living with the guilt that he wasn't able to save his little sister. So the elders of the community end up hanging the Sanderson sisters, but before they're able to, right before, in fact, the Sanderson sisters cast a, cur cast a curse that says that in 300 years, on Halloween night, once a virgin lights the black flame candle, they will come back from the dead. When the moon is full. When the moon is full, yes. So, we then flash forward to about 1980 something, and um, we see Max and his little sister Danny, who just moved to Salem from LA. And um, he goes to school. And both him and Danny, since it's around Halloween time, were told the story of the Sanderson sisters. And Max thinks that, in his words, it's just all a bunch of hocus pocus. Um, and uh, then we are introduced to Elizabeth, who then says, well, it just so happens that Halloween is based on the um, old holiday of All Hallows Eve, because Max had said that, oh, everyone knows that Halloween was just made up by the candy companies. So then later on, he goes home, he's forced to take his sister out trick-or-treating, and reluctantly, he ends up doing it, and they eventually get to Elizabeth's house unknowingly, and since he has a crush on her, he wants to show how tough he is, so everyone's scared of the old Sanderson house, which used, which was a museum, but had recently been closed, but Elizabeth's mom worked there, so Elizabeth knew about, a lot about the museum, and about the Sanderson sisters, so he decided, well, let's go there, and of course, Danny didn't want to, but they ended up going. He lit the black flame candle, and the Sanderson sisters came back, and throughout that Halloween night, they were being chased by the Sanderson sisters with all sorts of shenanigans going on and funny bits, <coughs> and in the end, they were able to stop the Sanderson sisters by uh, almost morning, and that was the end of the film. I know I thought it was really, really funny. I think the entire family can enjoy it, and I think if you guys haven't seen it, you really should. But I'll let my mom tell you what she thought about it. Well, Hocus Pocus, let's see. I enjoy the movie. In fact, we have the movie. I I have it. I, I love the movie. Um, and uh, it is definitely a family friendly silly movie and if you haven't seen it why not yeah um some of my favorite characters one of my one of my all-time favorite characters out of the sanderson sisters is mary uh i uh, i think she is top notch she cracks me up first of all her hairstyle i mean hello they have a little funny little hair ponytail thingy-ma-bob kind of looks like the Bride of Frankenstein 
went into a tornado. Yeah, pretty much. And it, it, it's, it, you know, she's just absolutely silly. And it, she's played by Kathy and Jimmy. And um, then there's Bette Midler and Sarah Jessica Parker that are also the other two Sanderson sisters. And then there's Gary Mar Marshall and Penny Marshall, who are brother and sister. And they are also in the film and I believe Gary Marshall was the one that directed the film and his sister co-directed it or, um, or it might have been vice versa but it, either way it, two funny people that are involved in the film um, right there um, the movie is um, it does have I think a little bit of language maybe but i'm maybe. not 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 ex not excessive no. um certainly not by today's standards as far as you know movies with language when you hear that you're like oh uh so i mean if it did have language it was like very minimal yeah um it is funny it it's um, my daughter pretty much told you the whole premise of the movie. Uh, I can't really tell you much more without, you know... Spoiling some of the best parts. Yeah. Um, I think one of my favorite parts, <laughs> again, has to do with Mary. And they're leaving... Um, they're leaving... Uh, was it the cottage? Yeah. Yes, they're leaving the cottage. And all they can find... <laughs> all she can find is the vacuum and and to ride because her broom is gone and so, <laughs> so she takes the vacuum and the va and, and she's like I'm coming oh and she gets hit by the vacuum it's it is super silly I mean I enjoy it I enjoy silliness because I'm a big kid anyway but uh, I would say that yeah if you have littles don't like it um yeah. i would say if they have if you have kids that are really fond of halloween they'll like it um if you have someone like you know yourself that is young at heart and likes halloween stuff or likes funny movies or whatever family movies you probably will like this. And if you haven't seen it, you should. Uh, there's not a lot more I can say um, other than it is very, um, very cute. And it's not like, I can't say, I don't think there's ever been a movie that's quite like this one that I can recall. I could be wrong, but... Um, and I've heard scuttlebutt that there might be a new Hocus Pocus movie coming out. I really hope there is. And, and I've heard that both Bette Midler and, well, the original cast, all of them, Bette Midler, Kathy and Jimmy, and Sarah, Sarah Jessica Parker are all going to be back in the movie. So I don't know if that's still in play, but if it is, I really, really can't wait to see it. Anyways, I'll let my daughter take over. So with that being said, guys, if you liked what we had to say, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what kind of videos you like. If you like longer videos where we explain, or if you like shorter videos where we just kind of give a brief description of the movie just to, like, make you guys remember what movie it, it is if you've seen it. And a huge shout out to Marion, also known here on YouTube as Life, Life Unboxed, Unboxed, for joining our Patreon. Thank you so much. If you guys are interested, the link is in the description box. And with that being said, guys, we're going to see you next week. Bye! Bye.